Hello, this is Dennis Smith with the Dell Tech Center, and today I'll be giving you a quick overview of our MD3200i management interface. If we open up our MD Storage Manager, one of the new features is a one-to-many management window that includes all of our previous generation storage arrays. If we double-click on our 3200i, we're presented with another management window for that array. The first tab is a summary tab that shows you everything that's happening with this particular array. If we click on logical, you can see we can see all of our disk group properties. We have one disk group which is labeled test. If we expand that, we'll see a virtual disk labeled storage. And on the right side, you see the properties of that selected virtual disk. Underneath the storage virtual disk, we have free capacity. And we'll come back to this in just a moment and go through setting up a new virtual disk. Under the physical tab, we see all of our hardware components. You can clearly see here which drives are online and which drives are not. Again, on the right side, we have a properties window of the selected virtual disk. You can scroll down and see firmware revision and other information about the selected component. You can do the same thing with the I.O. controller module. If we click on view enclosure components, we're presented with another properties window where we can select our battery packs, our power supplies, our fans, and our temperature sensors. In this window, you can also change your enclosure ID. If we go back to our logical tab, we'll create a virtual disk. We start by right clicking on free capacity and then create virtual disk. This brings up a nice virtual disk wizard in which we simply enter the size of our virtual disk and we'll give this one 200 gig and then we enter a label for this selected virtual disk and we'll call this one media. After doing that we click on finish and it asks us if we want to create another virtual disk and we'll simply say no to that. Going back to our logical tab, you see we have a newly created virtual disk, again with the properties window on the right side, and at the bottom of the screen, you see the initialization of that virtual disk. If we go back to the summary tab, you can see now that we have one disk group, but now we have two virtual disks associated with that. And here we have one operation in progress, which is that initialization of the virtual disk. For more information on this product and many more, please visit us at DellTechCenter.com.